Hey, welcome everybody to uh, Weather Patterns 2.2. Ooh, what's happening? I feel like there's, I'm getting green flashes on my screen. Is, is something, whoa. Is that is that happening for you? Maybe it's just me. I'm tripping. Uh, hey, reading, uh, disaster in California. Oh no. Uh, yeah, we are gonna do a reading today and that's really the bulk of what we're doing. Um, other than the warm up and the homework, uh, so pretty straightforward today. But let's go ahead and look at the warm up really quick. Let's see what we're doing here. Doobity da. I just got an email from Screencastify. They're the people that I use for screen recordings, and uh, they were telling me all about these new features that I made a big deal about in my last video. It's like they showed up and then they sent me an email about it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Model of the troposphere. Hey, below is model of the troposphere. Use the words in the word bank to label the image and then answer the question below. So remember, troposphere, troposphere. It's the layer of the atmosphere closest to the surface of the earth. It's the layer of the atmosphere that we live in. Uh, last lesson, I think we talked about how the earth's atmosphere is divided into layers, okay? We divide those layers actually by temperature. And uh, the troposphere is where we live, all right? right here. It's where weather happens. It's where planes fly. Uh, it's where, you know, every everything that you've experienced is right here in the troposphere. Most, I would say most of you, I don't know, maybe not. Uh, well, most of you have not left the troposphere yet. Uh, maybe you will, if we can hang on to uh, get, get, a, get a cool uh, rocket, civilian rocket to take us on trips. Anyways, what a pretty picture. Uh, and what you need to do is you need to drag these, warmer or colder, uh, onto the uh, drawing. Uh, what, where, where is it colder? Where is it warmer? Is it colder up here? Is it colder down here? Um, so pretty straightforward. And then answer, how does the temperature of the air in the troposphere change from the bottom of the arrow to the top of the arrow? All right. Go ahead and do that and then come on back to me. All right. Welcome back. Hey, here's what we should have noticed. Um, I mean, we've talked about this before, right? Uh, and we applied this uh, in our uh, last lesson, I think, in the simulation we were looking at this. But it is definitely colder the higher you go in the troposphere. Uh, and it is warmer the lower you are in the troposphere. Uh, that's why there's snow at the top of the mountain and not at the bottom of the mountain, right? Um, so the higher you go in the troposphere, the colder it gets. This is what we talked about uh, in our previous lessons. And uh, the hotter an air parcel is, the hotter an air parcel is, the higher it's going to rise in the troposphere too. Okay, next, boom, reading disaster in California. You're gonna read about some flooding that happened in California. Um, so click on the link, read the article. Uh, please, please, please make some annotations. Uh, write out any questions that you have. Uh, pay attention to connections that we can make to the things that we've learned, like the cooling of air parcels. Um, and yeah, uh, we will discuss this when uh, we come back to, uh, not in person, live instruction, I suppose. Um, so when we come back, we will discuss this article, and I want to hear what you have to think, uh, have to say about it. Uh, so yeah, yeah, read that article, and then uh, make your annotations, and come back to me. All right, last thing is the homework. Um, now, uh, this is actually kind of fun, I think, uh, because you're gonna be learning about rainfall in our area, right Right where we live, okay? So you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to Google some stuff or, or Bing some, some things. Um, it says, use the internet to research climate data about your state and town. Some terms and phrases to use to help you in your search include your state or town climate data. Average rainfall in your state, United States climate data. Um, I would get more specific than United States climate data, but hey, that's just me. Um, all right, so you have to find out these four things, please. Uh, what is the average annual rainfall in your state? I, I might actually Google that, right? Um, what is the average annual rainfall in your city? What day had the highest rainfall? Interesting, and how many inches of rain fell on that day. If you really want to impress me, you'll tell me how many centimeters of rain fell on that day. Um, so your goal, again, is to try to find this information and do some searches. Uh, you might, I don't know, you might have some difficulty uh, finding specifically all these things, but that's fine. That's fine. 
uh, just do your best and try to get it all. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, looking forward to seeing what you found and comparing our data, all right? Hey, that's it. Uh, I, I know, pretty straightforward. Uh, so hope that was easy for you. And uh, we'll see you next time.